five, four, three, two, one. the holiday season now officially underway with the lighting of the national Christmas tree. This ceremony you're seeing it happened just a few moments ago. It's also going to feature musical performances later on tonight from Patti LaBelle and Neo along with the Christmas sing along and the president who did that countdown moments ago just spoke as well. Let's listen in. Merry Christmas everybody. We saw this uh, party going on out back and we thought we'd join you. Yeah. I want to thank Secretary Jewell uh, for not only the introduction but for all that you and everybody who's part of the Interior Department and the Park Service do to protect the magnificent outdoors for our children and for future generations. And I want to thank Jonathan Jarvis, Dan Wink, and everybody at the National Park Service and the National Park Foundation for putting on this special event each and every holiday season. I want everybody to give it up for our charming Christmas host tonight, Tom Hanks and Rita Wilson. We have so enjoyed the incredible performers, including the one and only Patti LaBelle. And finally, thanks to all of you who are here and watching at home for joining us to celebrate this wonderful holiday tradition. You know, back in 1923, school kids here in Washington wrote a letter to the White House asking if they could put a Christmas tree on the South Lawn. And more than 90 years and a few different evergreens later, the National Christmas Tree still stands as a symbol of hope and holiday spirit, and we still gather as a country each year to light it. We still have school kids involved, too, but this year they've given all the state and territory trees surrounding the National Christmas Tree their first digital upgrade. Young women from all 50 states use their computers using their coding skills to control the colors and patterns of the lights on these trees. So thanks to those wonderful students. It is incredibly impressive. That's actually one of the few things that Tom Hanks cannot do. But while lighting the tree has entered into the 21st century, the story that we remember this season dates back more than 2,000 years. It's the story of hope, the birth of a singular child into the simplest of circumstances, a child who would grow up to live a life of humility and kindness and compassion, who traveled with a message of empathy and understanding, who taught us to care for the poor and the marginalized and those who are different from ourselves. And more than two millennia later, the way he lived still compels us to do our best to build a more just and tolerant and decent world. It's a story dear to my family as Christians, but its meaning is one embraced by all peoples across our country and around the world, regardless of how they pray or whether they pray at all. And that's to love our neighbors as ourselves, to be one another's keepers to have faith in one another and in something better around the bend, not just at Christmas time, but all the time. And finally, this Christmas, we count our blessings and we give thanks to the men and women of our military who helped make those blessings possible. And as we hold our loved ones tight, let's remember the military families whose loved ones are far from home. They are our heroes, and they deserve our heartfelt gratitude, and our wholehearted support. Um, so on behalf of Michelle, Malia, Sasha, Mom-in-law, and our reindeer, Bo and Sonny, I want to wish all of them, and I want to wish all of you, a very, very Merry Christmas and a holiday filled with joy.
God bless you, and God bless the United States of America. And that was the president addressing the crowd at the National Christmas Tree Lighting a few moments ago. In the moments since then, he's been dancing with uh, Santa. Tell you, there's been some moves the going first family's been getting down with it. That was the best part to watch. They each got a hug with Santa, telling their wish. I'm wondering what they asked they're for. They're going to have Christmas. to. Uh, they're going to have to give Santa a little help, though. He was a little lacking in some of the dance moves. A he could use some help yeah, from I, everyone I can, on well, stage. Well, you know, <laughs> Santa's locked up in the North Pole a lot of times, so he doesn't get out. He much. doesn't get out much. But listen, that. he hears us talking about this, and we're going to be in big trouble. <laughs> That's you know? true. I'm going to have cold. He knows when you've been bad or good, and he'll know. He he'll knows. know. But they're having a blast down at the Christmas tree lighting. So great. And they used students and coding yeah, to control to the tree, which is just that. so cool. It's very cool. awesome, fun event. And they could not have asked for a better night. You know, no. rewind 24 yeah. hours, this would have been miserable. Oh.